Hello guys and welcome to another Adventure Story channel video. Today I have a special job with photos. It's about diesel generator deflection, which is very important to know how our crankshaft is placed in the engine, okay? If there are any differences from previous deflections, this one will check. And this shows the condition of our main bearings, okay, which is like the crankshaft. Let's start, okay. The engine is stopped, okay. Lubricating is off, and the temperature which it will take, it's uh, the engine it's standing at normal temperature. Also, the, temp the temperature we take that day must be same the previous condition okay the ship also must be in same condition uh, loaded or unloaded it depends how you take okay because when the ship is unloaded it lies like that okay when it's loaded it's going to even kill and a little bit forward so take your deflection in same condition okay and have a special intervals between the deflection which is inside the PMS system program and here as you can see we have the dial gauge there is a, a box with the dial gauge and some metal parts which you can remove okay and adjust the proper size for this here okay there is dots here in this side and the other side you will tighten the gauge with one rope one smaller rope, okay. So even if it fall down, you can catch and find from the sump, okay. And you turn the engine as it turns, okay. The normal turning, which is in this engine, is clockwise, okay. That means if you are at the exhaust side of the engine, the engine will turn this side, okay, to you and down. And as the gauge is moving, you take the readings, okay? You can move one person, okay? It's uh, at the point where is the turning mechanism, okay? He, he just turned there. And one person is telling you, okay? You communicate. You have some persons there, two or three persons to communicate. Or walkie-talkie with uh, that person who turns the engine. So the engine is turning from some points, okay? There is five points. There is top dead center, uh, close to top dead center. Uh, at the bottom, exhaust side, near bottom side, after bottom side, some degrees. And also cam side and near top dead center. There is some five or six points, okay? Which you will take. And at the moment when you apply this gauge, okay? make it a little bit tight because one side here it's pressurable okay you can press inside so make it fit to not fall down uh, also after you, this gauge is adjusted as you can see here this uh, side from here you can touch and you can adjust it to zero okay it's movable this metal here so when you adjust to zero you start to move down and take readings, okay? <coughs> there is positive, plus and minus, okay? In this side it's plus, in other side it's minus, okay? You can calculate your differences from previous readings, okay? If you are going plus, uh, your bearing means that in that side it's opening minus in going is going inside okay it's close and you don't like to be a lot of positive or a lot of negative okay you like to be almost close to zero okay zero it's perfect you will find some readings zero but in some cases because of the weight distribution of the shaft there is maybe 5 10 15 okay it depends and when you're going from cylinder number one okay and to the last let's say we have six cylinder engine 
when you are in the sixth number, uh, you will see bigger difference because there is lie of generator, also the weight of generator at the back, okay? But this you can adjust. This is adjustable, okay? And check your previous. I believe there is some uh, record paper where you record and you see exactly the diagram and some companies they have a program which you put your entries what your findings and you see exactly how the distribution inside of the bearings and the camshaft is going on okay guys let's see let's move to another pictures here as it moves down and here how it looks like without the covers here okay for the correct movement how you will turn you can see also in the book but the normal turning as i said before it's clockwise as the engine is moving and working also you can check your condition inside of the sump you can see if there is any rust, if it's good condition. To check also if your bearings is good condition, you can move from this stat. You can move a little bit to see if it's moving. Normally, it must be in moving condition. It's not must be tight and stuck. Okay, that is it, guys. Thank you for watching, stay tuned to Adventure Story channel and check also my previous video, it's very very good with information. Thank you for watching, stay tuned to Adventure Story, bye bye.